Hi, I'm class 1, 12 years old, primary 6, from Yuming Primary School. For this time, we're still at ordinary differential equations. Now, for ordinary differential equations, we have many different types of methods, and we're going to learn them through exemplifications. So right now here, let's take a look at what type of example do we have. And this example that we have right now here is 6xy prime and this is equal to 2y minus x square over y to the power of 5. So firstly, let's take a look at what type of example. So from these parts, you can say non-homogeneous. You can see that this is non-linear. Okay, non-homogeneous, non-linear. This is first order. But for this type of equations, we do have a special name for it. And for this type of ordinary differential equations, we call it the Bernoulli equations. Okay, let me just write this part here. Okay, so this is for the Bernoulli equations is general form y prime then plus px. px is a function of x then times y and this will be qx then times qx is another function of x then times y to the power of n at this part what we'll use is to let but to let we'll need another function just say for example u. u we can let it be y to the power of 1 minus n. Then that we need to get rid of this part. At the same time, it's just to get rid of this part. So afterwards, well, we'll see what happens. So for here. Can we straight away make this substitution from here? Well, let me just tell you, actually, we can. But still, if you want to write into a general form, you also can. For this example, the general form will be, okay, I'm writing it out. Okay, so this is the form it will be in. But did you realize one part that is still the same? We want y to the power of 1 minus n. This part is y to the power of negative 5. Until here, this is still y to the power of negative 5. So 1 minus a negative 5. That means this is u that is equal to y to the power of 6. Okay, so this is your u. Now that y is y, it will be u to the power of 1 over 6. Then, of course, this y prime. Now, y prime. That means you have to differentiate this part. But at last, this part differentiates y, but how about this u? That means you also need u prime. Okay, so now we have these parts. So what do we have? Let's just sub in all of these first.
Okay. What do we have in common for all of these parts? Okay, this is actually a U to the power of negative 5 over 6. So I don't think you'll mind if we times U to the power of 5 over 6 on both sides. And at the same time, this 6 can also be times on both sides. So here you get your U prime. So up here becomes a U. So there will be 2U over X. And for this part, it will just be a negative x. Okay, at this part, what did you realize? What can we use? Okay, so back before, we have used the if to solve this kind, the integrating factor. Now, how do you find this if? That will be e to the power of, you integrate this part, which can also be called the px. Here, negative is also included. So right now, at this part, it will be like this. But you don't need a c. Well, if you want to know why you don't need a c, you can go back to the previous videos where I we learn about the IF, and in those videos, it is already explained. So right now here, natural logarithm and exponential. Then we could just straight away change this into x to the power of negative 2. Then you times this IF on both sides. Then for this part, x, this is actually to the power of 1, we just don't write it. This is negative 2, so that's why at last is negative 1. So at this part, both sides, we can have total differentiation. I can just decide this total differentiation. So this part is actually a 1 over x, so that's why it becomes ln x. Then after that here is plus c. Then you can times this on both sides. Well, at the same time, you can change this u into the y. So at this point, you can also choose to find out what y is. So what you'll get will be like this. But it's the first few times you're using this kind of this kind of substitution. And we're not sure whether this really works on all of these. So for this part, we'll verify. Okay, so at this part, you can choose to take this part. You also can choose to take this part. So which one do you think is easier? This with fractions in the index? Or this? 
Well, right now here, I think I'll just use this to have the differentiation. So this part differentiates. Like this. Then this part. So here right now, oh, you actually have the product rule. Oh, what do you have here actually? So this is actually a negative x. Okay, so this part, let me just leave it here first. Okay, at this part, what can you have? So right now, what would you need here? Well, I do see two of these x here. Now these x, would it come to help if we try to take out something? Or if we times in an extra x here? So at this part, this part here, you will have, you can change it back. Let me see like this. So in this part, sometimes you have to be really careful, like sometimes whether you just continue or you have to change it back a little bit. So right now here, do we have everything that we need? Okay, I don't think right now. Okay, so this part, let's first try to satisfy it. We need 6xy prime. Then we can divide y to the power of 5 to the other side. And then you times x on both sides. This will be the first part. Wait, here times x. So basically it's actually just the same. Just the, these two orders. Okay, so that means this is actually all right. So I hope that you are clear for this lesson. And actually in this method, using the substitution, it is just, at first this is non-linear, right? But what did you realize at this step? You make it into a linear function. So basically, this substitution is a change. This non-linear, this non-linear ordinary differential equation into a linear ordinary differential equation. That's it. That's that you can use these methods that you know. Okay, so I'll end my lesson here. So if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next lesson. Thank you for your watching.